Want to work out what you're eating? It's complicated. At Sainsbury's, there's a traffic light coloured pie chart to help you, while Tesco and Morrison's display what percentage of your recommended daily intake the product contains. But now, instead of all these different labels, the supermarkets and many food manufacturers are adopting this new standardised form. It has the weight of each food type in grams, the percentage of recommended intake that represents, and it's colour coded. That was the most welcome improvement when I showed shoppers one of the first products with the new label today. It makes it clearer because the system before was a little confusing, I believe. I think it's easier than all the same colouring. The combination is good, but I think the colours attract me more. I think they should all be the same, so it make it easier, definitely. All the major supermarkets will display the new front-of-pack information on their own brand product. Many well-known brands, including all those here, will also adopt the new labels. But some of Britain's biggest food firms, for example Kellogg's, Cadbury's and Coke, have not signed up to the scheme. It means around one-third of all products on our shop shelves still won't have the standard labels. The body representing manufacturers says each one has different issues to consider before deciding, although Coke says it has made up its mind to continue to use the European standard instead. However, the government believes today's launch will lead to more firms adopting the scheme. I'm hoping that that will spur those people who aren't on board to get on board. So I think it's, if you like, the fact that you're prepared to know them, I think that's good. I'm prepared to give credit where credit's due to those who are signed up. And I think also that the fact that the consumers want this, I think that will be a big driver as well. It will take up to two years to redesign the packaging of every product. The government hopes the consistency the labels bring will help people to make healthier food choices. Catherine Jones, 5 News.